Okay, welcome everybody to the one and only kitchen where you can get the right feelings at the right time. I say, this is the kitchen you want to be in. My name is Daryl Aquino. Okay, now let me show you what we are going to do. We've got 14 beans in an Aquino's kitchen. Okay, that's what we're going to show you. Okay, let's, let's kick start the show. All right. Okay, this one here is a pinto bean. We pick it up for you. There it is. And now we've got the uh, Faber Dahl. Okay, that's Faber Dahl. The Burmese people call it Pelo. That's with the skin on. Once the the skin comes off, that's what they are called Faber beans. Now, this one down the back here is the broad beans. Okay, let us dig in. That's the broad beans. Lovely, lovely. And we've got the uh, split pea bean. That's the split pea beans. We got the tour doll, tour beans. That is a lovely. That's my favorite. And this one is a blue bean. Okay, there it is. Bring it closer. That's what they are called. Now they can be put into this glutinous rice. Okay, yeah, uh, bit hard boil, hard boiling beans. But you have to use a pressure cooker in that one. We got an ankle pressure cooker here. Okay, yeah. Uh, now we've got chana dal. That's the chana dal. Indian call it chana dal. It's really it's gram dal. And this one here is the uh, horse gram dal. Okay, that's the horse gram. Let me pick it up for you. Look at that. And pick it up a little bit closer. Okay, there it is. Horse gram dal. I love this dal. And that one on the back here, it's a lima. Okay, lima. It sounds lima, but it's pronounced lima. Okay, once they go in the can, uh, can they become butter beans. There it is, butter beans. As simple as that. Uh, that one is azuki beans, okay? Azuki. And this one is a uh, yura doll. Yura doll beans, okay? Now, the next one is mung doll. That is, that is on the top, mung doll. They're green, okay? There it is. They make cakes and all different types of things, okay? This is a black pea, black IP. okay? It's the same thing what we said before. You can, you can use it in the uh, glutinate rice, okay? This is the one. Okay, for gluten rice. This one doesn't require pressure cooker. You can just boil it, no problem. This one's a chickpea. I love the chickpea. So we are now here, gram dal. We are soaking the gram dal for we're gonna make a curry. Okay, you need to soak this overnight. And this one's the lima beans. Okay, once you are soaked, you can see the uh, the skin start to split. Okay, let's pick up some of those on the back. You can see the skin splitting. They need to be there in the water overnight, okay? Now let's move on to this one here. This this one is a cashmere chili, okay? Here it is. Look at that. Look at that cashmere chili. <coughs> oh, well, 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 what do you know? Okay, now this what this is what happens. Now the crinkle cuts. See these little wrinkle, wrinkly chilies? Now what I do, I put them into this... Uh, Blender, coffee blender, that's a coffee blender down the back. And this is what happens. This is the color that comes out. It's not hot, it's good in a lot of mango pickles for curries, especially the Vindaloo curry to make it red. Okay, now uh, don't forget that uh, uh, this is a glutinate rice, okay? That is a glutinate rice. Okay, yeah, uh, Aquino's Kitchens in Morley, Western Australia, in the San Grover Kitchen, West Sam Grover Country, Aussie style cooking. In an Aquino's Burmese hardcore fusion style cooking, that's the one. And now this one here, what it is is this is a this is a chana chana doll. They call it chana doll, but really, if you look at it, this is gram doll. It's the same thing, you know. The the Indians call it chana doll, but the uh, the normal way, if you want this doll, just go to the shop, ask for gram doll. It's the same thing. Okay, let us show you a few things before we say goodbye. Now this is a Kensington mango. Uh, we grown down the back in uh, Western Australia, Kensington. These are the little small Kensington mangoes. Oh, they are beautiful, nice and sweet. Okay, uh, we do that in beach for This one here is a king thai mango. We grow that in the beach for Western Australia. We didn't actually know what they were till we actually asked this particular girl, Lisa's Tropical Fruit Garden from Melbourne, Australia. There it is. Now, this is the one. Then she definitely said, hey, they king time mangoes, mate. Or she didn't say mate, but we just put in the mate as an Australian. Okay, don't forget to support this young lady. She got a fantastic, beautiful garden. Okay, 
Now, uh, that's your 14 beans. That wasn't hard, is it? Okay, now, thanks for watching Aquino's Kitchen. My name is Daryl Aquino. You stay safe and you be safe out there. Okay, ciao, baby. <laughs>